What's up, my friend? Welcome to this amazing day, my friend. The most beautiful day. It's sunny, it's hot, but it got a slight breeze. Topping it off, right? Makes it perfect, my friend. But the only thing that's missing is you. But not just any old you. You're missing your best self in the fold, my friend. So get yourself right before you come out into the fold because here's the thing. It's almost like giving away clothes. You don't want to give nobody clothes that you wouldn't wear yourself. You don't want to give out any energy that you don't want to receive yourself. So before you come out here into the world, make sure that you're your best self. Because you already know that when you're your best self, everybody wins, right? But when you're not your best self, everybody loses, including you, my friend. So we need you in the fold, but we don't need just any old you. We need the best you, my friend. And not only that, you should always want to be the best you because you want everybody to win. But when you're not your best self, everybody loses, including you, my friend. So in order for you to become your best self before you come out into the world, you got to have a gratitude session with God because life is just like real estate. Whatever we appreciate increases in value, right? But whatever we don't appreciate decreases in value, even your life, my friend. So in order for you to become your best self before you come out here and get yourself to the world, you got to have a gratitude session with God. And then the most important thing after that, you got to put on your amazing, my friend. Yes, you do. See, once you put on that amazing magic happens. It's almost like Clark Kent going into the suit and going into the phone booth and coming out as Superman. The only thing he did when he went to the phone booth, he put on his amazing. He put on his uniform. You got to put on your uniform, your full body of armor so you can stand firm against the enemy, my friend. So let me tell you the benefits of putting on your amazing. So you, you know this just ain't lip service. You know I'm talking that real, right? When you put on your amazing, your weaknesses become strengths. Now you already know the one thing holding you back from doing everything you want to do is because you're scared your insecurity is going to get exposed. You're scared people are going to see your weaknesses, my friend. But that's all, it's all fixed once you put on your amazing because your weaknesses become strength. Let me tell you something else that happens when you put on your amazing. Your fears turn into faith, my friend. You already know that's the one element that's kept you away from reaching the heights that you wanted to reach your whole life. If only I could believe more. Put on your amazing and your belief goes through the ceiling, my friend. And another thing that putting on your amazing does, your vision becomes impeccable. No more blind spots. No more tripping over the forks in the road. You're able to stay in formation. You're able to stay great because guess what? You're putting on your amazing handles, all those blind spots, my friend. Your third eye is wide open. You see things you never imagined were there and all your senses are awakened. All because you are willing to get a little uncomfortable so that you can get comfortable. And I mean comfortable in the sense of being your best self. So now everybody wins, including you, right? You appreciate being your best self because you gave a gratitude session to God. So now you increase in value, right? So now you're prepared to win. You're prepared to face the world. Because here's the thing, that's the, the hard truth is you're supposed to positively impact every environment you go into. I don't care if it's for five seconds, you're supposed to bring some kind of light. You're supposed to make it better. And you're also supposed to positively impact every person that encounters you. They're supposed to leave the interaction with you better than when they came, my friend. And the only way you can do that is to be your best self. The only way you can be your best self is by putting on your amazing, my friend. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you something. Today's message, right, it's a reminder. I already know you know this, and you know this well but you still get caught up in this. And it's hurting you really, really bad, my friend. Excuses, yes, capital E, excuses are killing your progress, yeah? Yeah? But that doesn't discount, you still working hard. I know you're working hard. I know you're aligning your words, thoughts, and actions with your truth. I know you're giving it all you got, trying to move up the progress line, because that's all about progress. But each and every time, you make an excuse, it forces you to go to the back of the progress line. It cancels all your progress, my friend. That's what you're doing when you're making excuses. Excuses are killing your progress. Let me tell you how. See, each and every time you make an excuse, right? You forfeit the very power you need 
to learn and grow from the very situation that you're making excuses about. Ain't that something? So the fact that you don't have enough air in your tires to make it to your destination and you the, the fact that you don't have enough air is because you keep making excuses and it's letting the air out of your tires. But if you just sit and be accountable for your situation and develop a plan on how to maximize your situation, your tires will stay aired up, right? So each and every time you make an excuse, you forfeit the power you need to fix the very situation you're making excuses about, my friend. Here's three reasons why you never, never want to make excuses, my friend. Let me tell you what an excuse is. Anything short of, it's done, I got it done, I finished it, I completed it, anything short of that is an excuse. It doesn't matter how good the excuse is, either you got it done or you didn't. And if you got it done, whatever you say, the reason that you didn't get it done is an excuse. Here's three reasons why you never want to make excuses, right? Number one, here's the thing. Making excuses is like self-sabotage. We just discussed this because excuses kill your progress. Yeah. So you got a choice. As with every other situation in life, God always gives us a choice because you got a free will. He's just going to make you accountable for the result of your choice, but you can choose whatever you want. So here's your choice. You can make excuses or you can grow, but you cannot do both, right? And number three, here's the thing. You got to develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe. Guess what excuses are? Guess what excuses are? This is why they're so detrimental to your progress. Excuses are the opposite of personal accountability and making excuses will never allow you to create the life you desire to have, my friend. Listen, you are the head and not the tail. If nobody told you, my friend, you are more than a conqueror. You are a chosen generation, a peculiar people, right? It's nothing you can do. If you need to know how to operate better, you got to check with your manufacturer, my friend, because here's the hard truth. Whatever we don't understand how to operate and how to work, how to utilize, we abuse even ourselves. If you want to know how to operate something, you check the manufacturer's God. If you want to know how to operate you, you got to check with God the Father because he's your creator, my friend. He's your manufacturer. And while you checking with God, right, that is, after you had that gratitude session with God, then you go and ask him for something. First, you just thank him for it, and then you ask him for something. How do I operate better, my friend? Because here's the thing, you gotta operate at your optimal capacity because you were born to be great.